Hello and welcome to another video of the explaining series. Today we're gonna look at 155 City as the last voting has shown. Um, be sure to always vote for the next map again, I'll put a voting right here. And yeah, that's basically all I got to say. Um, so let's start. So High City is a pretty tough map, I would say. So uh, there are a few things you should um, know about it. Firstly, um, as it is a 105, you it's best to use six strafes in total. And for that, you have to use your first three strafes as, as fast as possible. And uh, Ender has uploaded a video in the last few weeks, I don't know when exactly that was. And we're gonna look at the start he used there. So for this explanation on the start, I'm gonna use a video of Ender, which is uh, the 1-4 High City video he posted a few weeks ago. Actually, 14 days ago, that's exactly two weeks ago, okay. Um, so, what you wanna do here is, I'm gonna just go to full screen. Um, you go to the third sandstone block here, to the third red sandstone block. And then you will try uh, to do two jumps here. And when you are uh, at the glass, you're gonna strafe and land about there. Then strafe again and land on the green block. Strafe again and you'll be here. Um, I've tried it myself. It's extremely, extremely difficult. So I'd recommend rather using my strategy, I'm gonna show you now. Um, but if you really, really want to push for 1-4, this is the method you're gonna wanna do. Okay, so that's all I gotta say for that. And uh, I, myself, didn't do this, because I didn't know about the method then. This run is older, actually, than Ender's video. So I did a different method. Um, Ender's method is of course one, it's possible to do 1-4 with it, mine is not really, I don't think, maybe you can do 1-4 with it, but I don't know. Anyway, let's look at it. So what I do here, I stay at the glass and then instantly perform a double strafe. So that I land on the green block right there. Um, of course you can get a 105 with it, but not a 104. I don't, I'm not sure, maybe you can get a 104, but it's, it's pretty tough. And then once I land here, I turn and use my and use the next strafe. This was actually an OP strafe here, which made me land on the uh, which made me land on the white thing right here after I jumped once. Usually you don't get that, so you have to be careful to not clip here. Uh, yeah. And when you get that OP strafe though, you can land right there, and then try to get good slaps. I actually got really good slaps right there. But that's not always the case. So then you just you just have to run through. It's a bit uh, it's a bit bad here because uh, death can kill you anytime. I think that death was giving a free run right now. I clipped here on the s stairs a bit. You also don't want to do that. So what I do here at the jump boost, I get a weak slab boost right there because it lines you up perfectly for uh, the jumps right there. But what Ender did is. He got a good slab boost right there, and then just adjusted after that to not over jump anything there. You can also do that, do it however you want. I get a weak slab boost, I think that's better, but you can also get a better slab boost if you want to. Then just make your way through the jump and run here, you can keep jumping there. Uh, then stop jumping here for a little bit, and uh, then keep jumping again. And if you land on the edge of this stair block right there, you can just go and keep jumping and uh, you will jump right there. It will work. But if you land um, right there on the uh, bottom of the slab, you will probably over jump that. So be careful with that and try uh, to land on the edge of the slab. Then just keep jumping here. Try to jump late to not hit the ladder. And then keep jumping again. It's funny how Nexus Aura is in front of me there, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, uh, then here you have to stop jumping again for a little bit. Don't clip on the stairs like I did here, that's a bit bad. Then get Hatteras here, right after the checkpoint. You can also get a slab boost from that. Uh, then with the jump boost, try to jump up there and then jump to this block. You can also get another jump here if you want to. I'm gonna show what Ender did at this jump boost again. 
So for the jump boost, I'm at Ender's video again, and we're gonna look at what he did. So he did the same as me at the start, he just jumped to this block, but then he got another jump. So uh, when he, he jumped off this uh, slab again, and then he didn't hit, I can scroll back a bit, he didn't hit uh, this part of the slab, or of the stair, he hit this part. And he hit it at the very end, you can see here, and then he just kept jumping. So that's what he wanted to uh, achieve with that, he wanted to uh, keep his momentum. And that's what he also did here, he kept his momentum all the way. Um, so he didn't do it like me, he didn't, I will show you right now, he didn't uh, stop jumping there anywhere, he kept his momentum. And I think that's actually better. So if you really want to push for push for one four, that's the method you want to use. So what I did here, I didn't get a jump, and hit my head at this slab, uh, at this part of the slab essentially, and then stopped jumping here. So that's a bit slower, and then got another jump right there. Then here you're gonna keep jumping. Um, I like to land on this specific block. Uh, it's this one right there, and then just walk. And then keep jumping again, uh, because I think that's good because you take the corner pretty tight there. Uh, uh, yeah. Now for the, I would say most difficult part about high city, the triple strafe at the end. So um, for that, what you're gonna wanna do, what you want to do, is land on a jump boost, jump, jump again, and land on the very edge of this block. And now, what many people do wrong with the triple strafe is they use their strafes way, way, way too early. Um, it's important, you use your strafes pretty late actually. Uh, I'll show you how I did it. I just show you it once and then I'll say something about it. Okay, so what I, what did I do here? Um, my first strafe, you can see I have my hate here activated and now just look at where I used my first strafe. It was about 60. So I felt 20 blocks before I even used my first strafe. Of course if you don't have access to this feature it's not that bad but be careful to not use your first strafe too early, that's really important, if you use it too early that won't work. Just try to fall a bit before you use it. But also don't strafe too late, that is also bad. Then the second one, you also want to wait a bit. Now you can see um, you're about at the right place to strafe into the portal. Um, if you strafe here too early, you will land about there and that's of course not good. You have to be at the exact point to make it to the portal right there. Uh, and then try to strafe. And for the last strafe, again, be careful to not use it too early, because if you use it li like here, you will land about there. There are barrier blocks right there, you will fall down and then die. That's, that is, you are always gonna die here if you, uh, just, if you just strafe at the barrier right there. You have to strafe pretty late. Uh, what I do here is, I look at the jump boost blocks, so the emeralds. And when I'm about at the emerald blocks, I strafe. So here you can see... I'm about at the emerald blocks and then I strafe. Um, to be honest, I didn't do the triple strafe perfectly. You can actually make it so that you don't clip the top of the portal here and that's actually faster. That's not what I did here, but you can also try to do it. You ha just have to strafe a bit later for that. Yeah, that was my pretty long explanation about the triple strafe. I hope you could follow me and I hope that will actually help you. The important thing to remember is don't strafe too early. That's basically all. Uh, yeah. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it will help you. And with that all said, see you in the next video.